Kia ora and welcome to our book reviewer today, Briar Laurie of Unity Books Auckland in the Tamaki Makaurau Auckland studio. Kia ora, welcome. Uh, from RDA, Catherine. Assembly is by Natasha Brown. Yes, it is, and I seem to have developed something of a habit of picking books for this review slot that are unnamed female millennial narrators, but, you know, I suppose one sometimes reviews what one knows. So this is a a short, snippety novella, really, rather than a novel, but it is so perfectly formed that I think it would be a tragedy to have it go any other way. So it's a round, precise 100 pages, and it's just got this perfection of pacing and prose that I think would be really difficult to maintain for a longer period of time and would be difficult as a writer and would be difficult to keep reading without it becoming quite strenuous. Um, But if we go back to the beginning, and the beginning for any book is really the process of selecting it rather than the first page. So it jumped up to me partly because it's got this fabulous um, review quote from um, Bernadine Evaristo on the cover, who reckons Natasha Brown is a stunning new writer. Um, Agreed. And reading over the blurb, it immediately put me in the mind of um, Catherine Mansfield. And I don't know if that's just because of some sort of strange cerebral leap between it's called assembly. Assembly makes me think of school. School makes me think of English at school. English makes me think of Catherine Mansfield. But there's this element of the um, sort of the unknown entity coming into a idyllic British traditional society type setting that really put me in the mood of uh, a story like Bliss or something like that from Mansfield. And while I wouldn't necessarily say that there's direct parallels between them, I think that there's um, having that framework going into it really made me even more appreciate the lyricism and the um, provocation of the um, the storytelling that um, Brown is doing in here. So we have this um, black British um, main character, without a name, as previously stated, who is basically going through uh, a weekend where she's been taken to her um, rather upper crust boyfriend's um, parents' 40th birthday party at their, you know, lovely um, country mansion. Um, but between this, we have all these vignettes kind of setting the scene for where she is at and how she has gotten here and what's really going on uh, below the surface of being a a black British woman in a rather um, difficult to crack into um, echelon of society. Uh, and we've got some really interesting ways that Brown has developed this kind of otherness, whether it's, you know, more explicitly exploring her being described as exotic by, you know, her rather slavering and unpleasant sounding city colleagues, or whether it's when we get back to this uh, country setting where suddenly my boyfriend becomes the son in the narration throughout it because now he is in his true setting and she's seen his sort of his real free of the shackles of London self and finding herself maybe even more ill at odds as part of that world. So I don't want to go too much into the details of some of the other uh, twisty bits. There's a few um, elements of uh, taking stock of the reality of the world beyond her just growing success in the financial space and trying to find her place in the, you know, extremely white world that she's found herself in, Uh, but there's sort of these waves of crashing realisation of what else um, is affecting her and um, impacting her experience of the world. You sound very impressed with it as a rounded piece of work. (laughs) Yes, absolutely. Excellent. Thank you very, very much for the review. Briar Laurie there has been reading Assembly by Natasha Brown, published by Hamish Hamilton, $22 the price.